Generating Ideas for Niche Markets. In this video, we will be looking at a number of ways that you can generate a list of possible niche markets that you could pursue. We want to make it very clear that you will not be deciding on your niche at this stage. A lot of newcomers to niche marketing get very excited about the prospect and skip this stage. While we understand the excitement, it is not a good idea to go into a niche that you cannot be passionate about or has very little opportunity to make money. Identify your passions. There's a lot of information out there about choosing a niche market, and most of them will tell you to follow your passions. If you are really passionate about something, then this makes a lot of sense as you will be very motivated to make it work. But it doesn't always work. If you have a passion for a niche, but the size of that niche is really small and the people in it rarely buy anything, then you are just wasting your time. Finding a niche that you could get passionate about is another story, and we will discuss this later on. We agree that it makes a lot of sense to enter a niche market that you are passionate about. Remember, at this stage, you are just compiling a list of possible niche ideas. In the next video, we will look at how you can test each idea for viability. So, we recommend that you identify the subjects that really interest you first. What are you really passionate and knowledgeable about? Get yourself a pen and paper and start to write down the things that you are interested in. Do not make any judgments at this stage. If you find yourself struggling here, then ask yourself these questions. What hobbies do I have? What sports am I interested in, if any? How do I spend my free time? What do I like to read about, online and offline? What TV programs really interest me? What magazine subscriptions do I have? What would I really miss in my life if I couldn't participate in it or read about it? What problems do I have at the moment? What things do I look for when I search online? What would I like to learn more about? What skills do I want to develop? What could I improve in my life? This is just a small sample of the questions that you can ask yourself. What you are doing here is looking introspectively to see what really interests you. It is likely that a few things will be significantly more interesting than others, such as hobbies, sports, TV, etc. Again, do not make any prejudgments. After spending just a few minutes doing this, you should be able to create a fairly long list. If you are still struggling to come up with a lot of ideas at this point, then don't worry because there are other steps you need to take. Put your marketing hat on. Now it's time to look at the world from a marketing perspective. When you do this, you will be able to come up with even more ideas even if you have no interest in them at the moment. Don't worry about this. Just write the ideas down. You're going to play detective here. You need a pen and notebook or a mobile device where you can jot down or record ideas. It is best to start doing this at the beginning of a new day. As you progress through your day, make a note of the following. Any problems that you encounter. Things around you that attract your attention. The kinds of conversations you have with other people. What was on TV that appealed to you? The products and services you use. Things that make you happy. Things that make you angry or sad. Activities you participate in. Determine a time to stop recording these things. Then take a look at each one you have made a record of and ask the following questions. Are other people interested in the same things? Are people spending money to do these things? What kind of problems do you and others face? What things really made you happy or excited? What things made you angry or sad or frustrated? Identify those things on your marketing list where you get a positive answer when you ask the questions. Any of these could be good niche marketing ideas where you can make money. What is working right now? There are a lot of different websites that you can look at that will tell you what the current trends are and which niche markets are working right now. By visiting these websites, you can come up with more potentially profitable niche marketing ideas. Amazon.com. The first website we recommend you visit is Amazon. Amazon sells a ton of products every day, and they are the largest online retailer in the world. And the good news here is that you can become an Amazon associate and promote the products on Amazon for a commission. Click on the Departments link at the top of the page, and you will see a drop-down menu with all the categories listed. Clicking on any of the categories will take you to the specific category page. Once you arrive at the category page, look at the top left of the page, and you should see a number of sub-niches. So, for example, in the Arts and Crafts category, there are 13 sub-niches such as crafting, fabric, and knitting and crochet. When you click on one of these sub-niches, you are likely to find more sub-niches to give you even more ideas. Within the main category, you will see a number of products with a bestseller orange color graphic. You can find the best-selling items on Amazon by visiting this link, www.amazon.com forward slash best hyphen sellers forward slash ZG 
S. This actually changes on an hourly basis, and you can dig around on this page and come up with a lot of good ideas. ClickBank.com If you don't already know about ClickBank.com, it is the biggest marketplace for digital products. We will talk more about digital versus physical products in a later video. You can take a look at the marketplace on ClickBank to see what categories the products are in. On the home page, you will see several categories on the left-hand side. At the top of the page, there is an affiliate marketplace link. Each one of the main categories has subcategories or niches, so you can get a lot of ideas here. Look for active forums. A forum is a community-based website around a specific niche. You can see what people are talking about and what their interests and problems are by visiting the right forums. They are also a great place for niche market ideas. We recommend that you visit findaforum.net to make life easy for you. On the home page, there is a section on the top 10 categories, which will give you a lot of good ideas. There's actually a niches link that you can use to find good ideas. Trends. There are a number of ways to see what is trending on the internet. You can get ideas from these websites. Twitter. Just log into your Twitter account and then open the notifications tab. From here, you can check for trending topics. Google. Go to trends.google.com forward slash trends forward slash question mark geo equals us to see what is trending in the Google search engine. Most social platforms have ways that you can see what's trending on sites such as Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Magazines.com. Despite the popularity of the internet, many people still subscribe to magazines every month. So get yourself over to magazines.com and take a look at what is on offer there. At the top of the page is a bestsellers link, so use this to see what magazines people are subscribing to in vast numbers to get some great niche ideas. Flippa.com. This is our secret weapon. If you don't know, Flippa.com is the world's largest leading marketplace for buying and selling websites. With a little digging, you can find out what niches are selling for the highest prices and what niches are watched the most. Some niche websites have sold for incredible amounts of money on this platform. Recently, Flippa published a post on their blog which provides great insight into what really sells well. Here's a link to the post. Blog.flippa.com forward slash revealed hyphen the hyphen niches hyphen with hyphen the hyphen highest hyphen chance hyphen of hyphen selling hyphen and hyphen more. In this great blog post, you will discover niches with the highest chance of selling, niches buyers are most interested in, niches that fetch the highest prices, niches with high demand and low supply, most watch monetization methods. This really is a great post that we recommend you take a few minutes to read. It will provide you with some great niche ideas. If you go to the homepage on Flippa.com, click on the website's link, and then select Just Sold from the drop-down list. Here, you will see examples of websites that have been sold recently and what income the sites were generating. You should have a pretty big list of niche market ideas by now. The next video discusses how you can test the ideas to see if they are worth pursuing.